Hi, welcome back to Sisu Track 2. I'm Julia Caesar, joined here by Psycho Dico. You have tuned in for Australia versus Wales. Good morning, everyone back home in Oz. It's nice and early there this morning. Hope we're all pumped and excited to watch Australia take on Oz in the uh, first quarter final for these two teams. So we're going to be momentarily getting to the national anthems. Thinking about 15 seconds we'll be going to get into the national anthems. Okay, yeah, I'm like looking at me, he's just looking at me and I'm thumbs up and so, yeah. Um, so uh, Australia versus Wales, let's see, like clearly they haven't played today. Yesterday, um, Australia faced off against Puerto Rico, a huge win there, 309-10. to um, That was the last game that they played for the day. And so excited to see about what happens here. Are we... So it looks like we are ready to go to, are we? We're ready to go to house. Because they can't really stand while the track of theirs is going on. A little logic, but not too much. Okay, sorry about that. I thought they were ready to throw. <laughs> he was gesturing to someone else. So anyways, so the last game that Australia uh, played, like I said, was Puerto Rico. It was Puerto Rico 10, uh, Australia 309, and it, the last one for uh, Wales was Canada. I don't have the score because it's on the opposite track and we don't always get the scores. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm looking at a three even. Oh, it was 206 to 169, so that's some of the face-offs from uh, Thursday, and now we are ready for the national anthem. So here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again. Would everyone please stand for the national anthem of Wales? Beautifully done, Team Wales. And now the national anthem of Australia. So that was the Welsh and then Australian national anthems. I'm going to run through the Welsh roster really quick before we get started. Wales will be playing in red today. We've Australia. got a fired up crowd here on the Sisu track. Sorry about that. 
The controls are a little bit strange for us. Um, that was Rockus Ron again. Uh, Wales will be playing in red. Australia will be playing in gold and green, as you're probably used to by now. For Wales, we've got number one, Main Waring, 17, Jenkins, 19, Ashby, 254, Jones, 26, Swift, 28, 28, Ashton, 36, Phillips, 43, Clark, 6766, Davies, 7, Butler, 8055, Burroughs, 918, Clutterbuck, 96, Hughes. And rolling out for Australia, we have zero, Skate Pilgrim, 11, Sausage Rolls, 1261, Skate Slinger, 16, Ballistic, 1957, Mr. Spew, 3, Fuzz, 311, Rampage, 34, 35, 39, JS, 505, Son of Skating, 63, 633, Synaptic Kids, 75, Just Incredible, 80, Flaming Galar, and 90, Grease Monkey. And we are ready to rock and roll here for the very first jam. We have Skate Pilgrim going head to head against Phillips on our Nerd Skate Jammer line. So immediately someone called off for a penalty from Wales. But it is going to be Wales in lead. Coming in for the first scoring pass, about a quarter of the lap behind is Australia's Jammer. Lots of whistles early. We have three blockers been sent for Team Wales. One of them will, of course, be joining the queue. Wales going for the quick point, squeezing one out, calling it off with Skate Pilgrim hot on his heels. That was close. That was a great way to start off a lot of energy in the pack, battling each other out. Uh, as you said, one point to Wales, so first blood has been drawn. I feel like this is going to be a very fast, fast match. I am expecting a fairly close score. I think it is going to be a fairly fast one. I think Australia is going to stick to their tactics. If they don't get lead, they will be chasing down that lead jammer as hard as they can to try and minimize any points put on the board by their opposition. As Sausage rolls, rolls out for Team Australia and gets the lead with Jones recycled to the back of the pack for Team Wales. Jones still trying to fight his way through the pack, not finding a lot of purchase coming through the Australian wall, but that is five points picked up for Australia. Already a lead change. And Jones has been recycled back. He hasn't made his way past the uh, turn two yet, and another big five points on the board for Sausage Rolls for Team Australia. In the meantime, Main Waring is being sent off and is seated in the box already for a back block call. Sausage rolls with some beautiful footwork to get through for another big five points. Definitely trying to assert their authority here early with Team Australia. And looks like we have Son of Skaten finding his way to the penalty box for Team Australia. He was called for a... Out of play. Sorry, I saw it. <laughs> it was an out of play. It's all right, sorry, my, my brain blanked for a second there. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, Jones is now out of the pack. He's re-entering on a scoring pass. And we've got ourselves a Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam for Jones for Team Wales. So that means we will go the full two minutes. We've got about 42 seconds left of it. Five points picked up by Wales. This is Wales' chance to bust up this point differential right now. It's 15 to six. And Wales trying to hold on to a goat at the back of the pack. They have Ballistic back there. Not that that's gonna put a stop to him, but he's been called for a directional block by the looks of it. Mm -hmm. So he will be heading to the penalty box as Son of Skaten is back on track, and Wales block are back on track as well, as here comes Sausage Rolls. As this power jam is finished, as you said, Sausage finding his way right to the middle, coming for these Welsh blockers. It's not terribly far behind Jones at this point, both of them picking up points. That is Wales getting four, Australia getting five on that pass. Sausage Rolls going for the big hit, Jones just taking one little slight step back to sidestep <laughs> that one. So that was the natural conclusion of that jam. We have a little replay here. You can see Jones sliding through narrowly on the outside, having to dodge his own blockers. So right now, Australia at 20, Wales at 10, 26-45 in this half. Is Ashby out there for Wales? Dirty five for Australia. And just the one blocker in the bin, that's for Australia. So Wales with the pack advantage, 4-3. Dirty five flying around the outside to get the lead for Team Australia. Just saw that slot opening and he was off. Jones has now made his way out of the pack. So he's going to be coming in on his first scoring pass as long as it's not called right off the bat, but it is. Dirty five calling it, picking up four more points on that last pass. Just confirming with his uh, Benchy that that's exactly what they wanted done. Chewy Lyons very clear with her calls to her, her jammers. 
Out on the Nerd Skate Shop Jammer line, we've got Skate Pilgrim for Australia and number 36, Phillips for Wales. I thought for a second that we were going to get a slight old school derby start starting up on the Nerd Skate Shop pivot line, but they decided to wheel back towards the jammers a little bit. Jones thought he found an outside opening and closed very quickly by the Wizards. Skate Pilgrim bumping his way through to get the lead for Team Australia. Phillips nearly through on the outside again, gets knocked out. He's going to come back behind number 80, Flaming Gala. And Skate Pilgrim managing to stay inside the track to get himself another big five points for Team Australia. And it looks as though we've got a star sash here for Wales, possibly mm -hmm. a star pass. We will see shortly. It does look like that pivot has the star in his hand as he's thrown off the track by Team Australia. That's 28-28 Ashton for Team Wales. Does have it in hand, but not on head yet. So it's not completed. Another five points on the board for Australia. Ashton is not having much luck getting through this pack as Phillips found it hard earlier. Ashton being recycled back as far away from the pack as possible. And he's going to re-enter. The pack is essentially at a scrum at this point. Both. Team Wales doing, sorry, block, Team Wales block is doing a fantastic job holding yeah. Skate Pilgrim at the front. I can only imagine how much energy is exerted when leaning into people with your full weight like that, but it's a testament to an excellent wall and an excellent jammer, so. And Ashton has now found his way out of the pack and has put the star on his head. Now the active jammer, the pack speeds up. He's not necessarily jetting towards that pack. It is called off when he's about a quarter of the lap behind him. That was three more points on that last pass for Australia. This team timeout is brought to you by Quad Skate Shop. Just go to any game and you're like, oh, yeah, this is why I do this. I skate for the Linden Roller Girls and S1 is part of my uniform. A clear path through the pack almost never exists. So we fight and make our own. So we've got a couple of shout outs on the MRDWC Twitter. Yay. Hashtag MRDWC. If you want to talk to us, uh, Spyro Maniac is getting ready to watch Wales West Australia. So this was a crazy game to watch two years ago. Yes. <laughs> they say, you got this, Wales. And the mechanic also cheering on from home. Unfortunately, mechanic unable to be with us. I believe he is missed by the Team Wales. And Little Miss Bang, I know it's only Sausage Rolls, but I like it. <laughs> and Sausage Rolls is on the line for Team Australia as we have him going head to head against Jones for Team Wales. And Sausage Rolls blasting through to get the lead for Team Oz. Jones is caught up as his blockers try to mash up this Australia defense. It is going to turn into a roller derby athletics power jam. A track cut being called on Jones as he takes the box. That is five more points on the board for Sausage Rolls. Sausage Rolls will be looking to extend this lead out as far as he can for Australia. Make the most of his opportunity. I think the biggest jam I've seen so far with another five points for Sausage Rolls was 44 wow. point jam by Team, Austra uh, Team USA Sorry, yesterday. Man. That's pretty amazing to watch. That's a lot of laps. That's a lot of laps. And another big five on the board for Sausage Rolls. So we've got Australia back holding a goat. Potentially to... Oh, didn't happen that time. They still have a hold of the goat, though. Looks like uh, number 26, Swift, is going to go back and try to help get him out, try to break up these defenses, and it's going to turn into another Roller Debris Athletics Power Jam in favor of Team Australia, another track cut. Another five points for Sausage Rolls. Jones flying back onto the track, and he went straight for that inside line and apparently cut it a little too fine. 
Oh, nice work there from Sausage Rolls. One foot pirouette around the inside. Team Wales looking to line up at the back. Two at the back, two at the front to try and hold on to Sausage Rolls. It's a beautiful duking, and he's around for another five points for Team Oz. 20 seconds left in this jam. This power jam is finished. Welsh jammer back on the track as Australian jammer number 11, Sausage Rolls, comes back through. Now Jones is on, on his first scoring pass. Just got a few seconds left. The pack finally sped up. So something we saw in that jam, the pack stopped around turn three for a very long time. Okay, we're gonna go into a replay really quick. And you can just see Sausage Rolls trying to knock him into the inside, not quite possible. As I was saying though, we pretty much stopped at turn three and, and fine with it. Australia was holding a goat. The goal wasn't necessarily trying to bust out. They weren't necessarily trying to get him out. The pack pretty much all right with being there. Um, so it's a pretty interesting tactic. And then when the power jam was over, back the pack goes back into speeding up. So we've got Ashby for Wales and Dirty Five for Team Australia. And Ashby out in front with the lead. Sorry, I was a bit excited as soon as Sausage Rolls got himself a 44-point jam in that last oh. jam as well. So matching Team USA. And Dirty Five, oh, it's been cool for the cut. So he's got the long skate around to the bouncy box. We have ourselves a roller derby athletics power jam in favor of Wales. Ashby mowing his way through that pack, now picking up five points for Wales. They need to close up that difference. Right now, Australia 91, Wales 15. Ooh, sliding through on the inside, dodging Australia's blocks, getting knocked out at the last second, but able to come back into play. Legally, five more points on the board for Wales. Currently a 10-point jam as he re-enters on another scoring pass. Knocking up against these defenses is number 633. Oh, looks like it was fine. Oh, a high block. I thought a track cut had been pulled. It is a high block, so now it's a roller derby athletics power jam in favor of Australia. Just sharing the derby love around, just letting everyone have a turn and having themselves a roller derby <laughs> athletics power jam. Everybody likes a nice power jam. Of course, we're going to go the full two minutes because of that. Uh, we've got about 35 seconds left in this jam. Dirty Five comes through, picks up five points. Again, we've got the stopped pack, and then Australia towards the back, Wales up front. Australian block is now working their way through to try and clear house for Dirty Five as he goes through for another big five points as Ashby hits the back of the pack again. Australia blockers just holding onto the Wales jammer. Swift trying to come and assist. That is Maine Waring and Ashton up front as a two-man wall, but it's going to be Ashton sent off to the box for a forearm call. That is the natural conclusion of the jam. That last pass yielded Australia four points, Wales four points, so a 14-14 jam. Australia now over the century mark, 105, Wales at 24 with 18.50 left in this half. Of course, we are on Sisu track two here at the Men's Roller Derby World Cup. Sisu, one of the fantastic mouth guards. You mold it to your mouth perfectly so you can breathe, you can drink, you can talk. They're pretty fantastic as far as I've heard. And looks like we've got JS rolling out for the first time for Team Australia. And he has got the lead as Phillips is putting on the star once again for Team Wales. Phillips is hung up behind Australia's defenses, but they're doing a great job of moving them both forward and back to keep them, keep the jammers where they want them to be. And so looks like he's uh, being called off, in fact, yeah, for blocking, uh, blocking out of bounds. So this is going to be another roller derby athletics power jam again in favor of Team Australia as number 39 JS comes back in for another scoring pass. Just like to point out, I just saw uh, Rampage number 311 from Team Australia trying to bridge with the most unusual bridge technique I've seen. He was down on one knee with two arms up like he was pointing. I, I swear, I'm, this is what I'm doing. It's okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It was beautiful to watch. That's amazing. So a multiplayer block being called on one of the Welsh blockers is going to be sent away. JS comes through. Another five points. This power jam is over and right behind him, or right behind JS, I should say, comes Phillips. Phillips, I believe, still on his initial pass, and now has been called for a track cut on the outside, so we have ourselves another Roller W Athletic Power Jam for JS. We've got 
Just 36 seconds left here to go in this jam. JS and taking full advantage of this common through another five points, currently a 15 point jam for Australia. His teammate signaling to, signaling to him that he's got the power jam, so he will keep riding it out as long as he likes, or until the natural conclusion of the jam, which is in about 16 seconds. Coming back through, another five points on the board for Australia. Phillips is standing in the penalty box. He will be back on track, and he is still in his initial pass. Mm -hmm. So Australia has got the, the three wall, and then they've got the one floating blocker in case Wales comes at them. They have the one orbiting blocker to get him. Here is a replay of the last few seconds. Trying to break up those Australian defenses is really rough to do. And the thing is, when they have that three wall in the back, when you try to break up those defenses, the chance you're taking is becoming a goat. And that's what we saw earlier with Swift went back to try to break up the defenses. That goat got out and then Swift became the goat. And so I think we're going to see that tactic quite a bit. Team Ski Australia do, do hold that quite well. They do seem to, he said, the, one of their go-to defensive moves. And even though the, the players can, the, the opposition can see that that's what's happening, it's really hard to try yeah. and beat it. It's, it's just kind of happening. And Wales have got out, they do have the lead. It is Jones with the lead for Team Wales. Skate Pilgrim is still trying to make his way through the pack as the Welsh blockers move their way up front, knock him into the inside, and are gonna pull him back as far as they can, reposition him on the track. In the meantime, Jones is also trying to get his way through the pack. He gets knocked out to the outside. Same scenario. Looks like there's been a star stash. It's now potentially a star pass. I can't see his hands. There is a blocking with the head that was called on oh, as a Team Wales blocker. The star stash was a bit hard to, to look at. I don't know if it, okay, it did not happen. It looked to be that he actually took it, but then his hands disappeared and there was just bodies, bodies, bodies. So it still stays with Skate Pilgrim. It's called off right as he comes in. That was another three points for Wales. Here is a replay of this last couple of seconds. We see Jones coming in, knocking into the blockers. The blockers don't even have enough time to re react. He's just off. So that was an eight point jam for Wales. Nothing picked up that time by Australia. We are 128 32 in favor of Australia. And Office Maven has sent us a shout out, loving the Wizards' performance at the moment. Hashtag you shall not pass. <laughs> number 19, Ashby up against number 11, Sausage Rolls on the Nerdscape Shop jammer line, now quite past it. It is going to be lead jammer to Australia, Sausage Rolls. Ashby trying to find his way around the outside now, pinballing back to the inside. One blocker left to pass. Now another one has come to replace. There's been a big whistle blown, I believe. Yes, it looks like Ashby has been called for the forearm. He will head to the penalty box. We have a roll of W Athletics power jam to Sausage Rolls for Team Australia. Sausage Rolls coming through, just picking the right spots to avoid the defensive maneuvers of Team Wales, picking up another five big points, pulling that point differential ever further apart. I love watching the jammers who you can see, they can see a line they're gonna follow. It's, it's, <laughs> right. it's like, you know, dot the dot. You, they can see something that the rest of us can't and they just follow that line just like that as Sausage Rolls goes through for another five points. It's a lot like watching chess, but uh, what is it? Interesting, actually interesting. <laughs> no offense to you chess wizards out there. So Sausage Rolls, Collapsing accidentally with one of the Wales blockers. In the meantime, Ashby being knocked out to the outside, having to come back. He is now behind three of the Australian blockers. Number 43, Clark, tries to come to his aid. There's no pass, no penalty, but he is through, coming in on his first scoring pass. Sausage Rolls just going to take as many points out of that as he can. Looks to Tui Lyons, the bench manager for the Wizards, and calls off the jam. Here we go to a replay. And you see the speed and dexterity of Sausage Rolls just winging his way through, like we said. It's, he sees a path that is only seen by him, takes it beautifully executed. 
So Phillips versus Dirty Five on the Nerd Skate Shop jammer line. 4-3 pack advantage to the Wizards. One Wales blocker in the penalty box at the moment. The way the back of the pack is being controlled by the Wizards is just astounding. But also astounding is another lead jammer uh, status awarded to Australia. Phillips has found his way out. So Dirty Five will take his four points mm -hmm. and call it off. Still playing that very tight tactical derby. Um, you know, take the quick points. If you see that you're gonna lose right. some, just call it off straight away. No point in letting any any points be, be leaked away right. by the opposition. So we have Jones hitting the line for Team Wales, Skate Pilgrim on the line for the Wizards. And looks like we have the 4-2 pack advantage now to the Wizards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But one of the Wales blockers, Clark, standing up ready to charge back on track as we get the lead for Skate Pilgrim for the Wizards. And we've had a no pass, no penalty. But Skate Pilgrim still out in front with the lead. Team Wales still trying to find their way through. Sorry if uh, the feed's gone a little funny for you at home. I believe our techies are working on it for us. I was just thinking of apologizing, but I was like, if the feed's gone, I'm saying sorry to no one. This is turning into a roller derby athletics power jam in favor this time of Team Wales. There's a back block called there on Skate Pilgrim. He'll have some time to sit in the small bench and think about all the bad things he's done. So this, no lead jammer on a power jam. Jones is approaching the pack. This is going to go the full two minutes. We've got just over a minute left in this one. Jones taken to the inside, getting knocked into the inside. He's going to have to come back behind the pack. And it looks like a Wales blockers for a second there had themselves a goat. They had Grace Monkey at the back, but he has found his way out and free, as has Jones for another five points for Team Wales. The penalty kill successful. Australia's blocker is back on the, or sorry, Jammer Skate Pilgrim back on the track, coming through, got knocked out to the outside, slid a, bit, slid a little bit far and is gonna come in towards the back. Jones doing a very similar thing, coming into the back right now. Skate was already on a scoring pass, so he picks up five points as he exits the pack. Managed to stay inside of the track on that jump on the inside line, so it's got himself four more points for Team Australia as Jones is having to make his way back to the back of the pack. And now Jones trying to do a little work on Skate Pilgrim. Skate Pilgrim around and now face to face with Wales, and that is the natural conclusion of the jam. Four more points to Australia, one to Wales, and we have ourselves a team timeout to Team Wales. Proudly brought to you by Quad Skate Shop. Just go to any game and you're like, oh yeah, this is why I do this. I skate for the Linden Roller Girls and S1 is part of my uniform. A clear path through the pack almost never exists. So we fight and make our own. Okay. We are back. I'm not sure if you can hear us. It appears that our feed is frozen at the very least, and we do apologize for that. I feel like there's been very few hiccups this weekend, so overall, you know, for the size of this tournament and all that, I do apologize. Uh, but like I, I was saying, for the size of this tournament, I feel like there's very few production hiccups. Hopefully you can hear me. I will use my words if your screen is frozen to radio this next jam. So yeah, we do have word that you can hear us. The stream will be down just for a few, hopefully just a few more seconds. Uh, out of the line, we've got number 39, JS, for Australia, facing off against number 19, Ashby, for Wales. Both of them driving into the pack. We've only got one Wales blocker in the box. So it's a three-on-four pack advantage to Australia. As number 39, JS, comes up to the front. He gets through, but it's going to be a track cut. He thought he could legally re-enter a track cut, so he's a roller derby athletics power jam. 
in favor of Team Australia, and that means lead is still open. So Ashby comes back to the back of the pack. Australia is positioned in the back with their three wall. Got one Welsh blocker trying to break it up. Uh, Ashby himself doing quite a good job of breaking up these defenses. That means Australia is going to move to the front. They've got a two wall up front. Their remaining blockers are controlling the back of the pack. Ashby gets knocked out to the outside. Coming back into the back of the pack. He's knocked into... Oops, sorry. I thought he'd come into the inside. Not quite. So again, knocked out to the outside. One of Australia's players is down on the ground. It doesn't look like it's going to be called for injury or does... Oh, it does. So we are now called for injury. The feet is back up. And you know what? I would like to tell you about one of our amazing sponsors, Bruce Skate News. Bruce Skate News, the original over-the-shoulder roller skate holder. You spend a lot of money on those skates. Don't shove them in a bag full of sweaty gear. You hate you and your skates hate that. Keep your skates aired out and show them off with Bruised Skate News. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or online at bruisedsn.com. Also, I'd like to tell you about one of our other fabulous sponsors, S1 Helmets. The S1 Lifer helmet is the best fitting, safest helmet for roller derby. Get a lifer, be a lifer, s1helmets.com. So as we are closed off for injury, it was one of Team Australia's blockers. I'm afraid I did not see his number. Um, hopefully, he will be back up soon. We do have an excellent EMT staff. And of course, a shout out to EMTs and, and the volunteers of various backgrounds everywhere. We, we know we can't do this without you and your help is always appreciated. So he is being looked at right now. In the meantime, uh, it looks like Psycho's computer is down, but my Twitter is still working. So yes, uh, the live stream, I believe, Jennifer, is fixed at this point, if you'd like to hit refresh. Um, all right, it looks like he's getting up. OK. Good, and he's skating off. So there's the best part. He's getting up and skating off. Sometimes there's some carrying, and that's worst case. So it looks like that is Flaming Galar. He's giving the thumbs up. He will have to sit out the three jams. He's actually going to go over and be checked out by yeah. the EMTs a little bit more thoroughly, I think. Sure. Um, so good to see Flaming Galar up and on his skates and, yes. and moving off of his own accord. Number 36, Phillips taking the Nerd Skate Shop jammer line for Wells. Number 11, Sausage rolls for Australia. This pack, so full of energy, still, I don't know how they're doing it. Sausage rolls takes lead jammer status for Australia. Finds his way through, and Team Wales still trying to find his way through at the front of the pack with the Wizards standing to their line. You shall not pass. He's now been thrown to the inside, and it looks like Skate Slinger will be called for a back block leaving Phillips the opportunity to get his way out of the pack. Sausard Rolzo has found his way around for a four-point pass for Australia and will call off the jam. Okay, we've been informed that the live stream is down, but we're still recording. So you are listening to our lovely voices on archive. Hello from the past. Whoa, mind <laughs> it would be It would be cooler if I could say hello from the future, but uh, this is how my life works out. Taking the line, 254 Jones is facing off against Dirty Five from Australia on the Nerd Skate Shop jammer line. We do have uh, a start more towards the Nerd Skate Shop pivot line this time. We have pack advantage to Wales. Australia only has two blockers out there right now. Let's see what kind of pack control they can do. I've been really astounded at how well uh, Australia is capable of controlling either half of the pack. And so now I'm excited to see how it goes with two. Been working very tightly, I believe, in their duos with their pairs. But he has found his way around to get the lead for Team Wales. Excellent work there from Jones. But Dirty Five is hot on his heels, flying out of that pack as the Wizards now are trying to speed the pack up. And as Jones came around turn two was when the other Wizards came out of the box. Jones looking a little exhausted after that jam, racing to the pack, trying to get there. Uh, before the other blockers could join up and form one of the two or three or four walls. That was a zero, that was a, sorry, is a four zero? Oh, sorry, I'm looking at a frozen feed. It was a zero zero jam. Thank you to our producer, Jax. <laughs> Keeping us under control when we have, we can see what's going on. We, we have a clue, we're not completely clueless. We right. know what's going on, but it's a little hard when your time is completely out of whack. So Ashby and Sausage Rolls rolling out. 
Both pushing at the front. Ashby working on Sausage Rolls a little bit as well. So I'm not positive with the feed is frozen if like the cameras are still rolling. So I'm just going to go ahead and go through it again. It's a high block being assessed to Sausage Rolls. This is now a Roller Derby Athletics power jam in favor of Team Wales. The Welsh jammer is still stuck in the pack. He is coming through, but he's facing off against two of Australia's blockers, the last one being just incredible. Lead jammer status is awarded to him, so he is, uh, that is Ashby uh, for Wales that I'm talking about. He does have lead jammer status, and he is on a few more seconds of this power jam, at least over 10 seconds. Sausage is not yet stood in the box, and as I say that, he stands in the box, and as I say that, a track cut is being assessed to Ashby, who will be headed to the box himself to play Jammer Switcheroo, so he's going to have over 20 sec. oh, sorry, he's going to have more, he's assessed a second penalty, um, so he's going to probably, you know, under a whole minute, but close to it, because uh, Sausage was already standing in the box, he is now back in the pack, already through, his initial is completed, and this next pass will be his first scoring pass, the Wizards of Oz are back in the back and moving towards the front. Wales, of course, up front trying to avoid becoming points and getting their defenses in place, knocked through. That is five more points for Australia. Australia do have themselves a goat at the back. They've got hold of Clark and holding him at the back. We have been called an elbow there on Ballistic, so he's scanning around to the penalty box as well. Southside Rolls making his way through for another big five points as Clark from Wales is just being held at back by the Wizards. It looked like he was trying to get some assistance there from Jenkins, but Jenkins having to move back at the front to try and hold on to Sausage Rolls, who gets another five points for Team Oz. Standing in the box, number 19, Ashby. So he's going to be coming in just in a few seconds. Oh, or not. That is the natural conclusion of the jam. 15-point jam for Australia. Uh, sorry, 17-point jam for Australia, a three-point jam for Wales. Australia at 195, Wales at 41. Three and a half minutes left in this half. With the 30 minutes games we were playing for the first two days, the teams, you can see, are really starting to feel these 30-minute yeah. halves. Yeah. They're playing them just as hard and as fast as they were playing the entire 30-minute game, so it's really wearing down on the players, especially taking those big hits. Definitely. Skate Pilgrim with the style for Australia. Jones, Jones for Wales. Sorry. Jones coming back, rubbing his nose. He might have taken a little bit of a knock to the face. That three wall of Australia in the back. He is through, though. Jones takes lead jammer status for Team Wales. Skate Pilgrim finding it uh, a bit of a hard time to find his way through this Wales pack. They're holding quite well. He still has not made it out. He's out around track, uh, sorry, turn two. And Jones has got himself a five point pass for Wales. And it looks as though we've had a star pass. Ballistic looks like he's got the star in his hand. So Ballistic is now going to be the jammer for the Wizards. And Jones taken off the track by Mr. Spew decides to call off the jam before Ballistic can get any points for the Wizards. So four more points on that pass for Wales. They're ever an engine up, and we do have that second half hour half and two minutes left in this half. So while it is 195 to 50 in favor of Australia right now, there's always that 15 minutes they could discuss and bounce back from this. 15 minutes is a long time to be able to take it's, a break and talk yeah. team tactics, and there's still a full half hour to go in the yes, second half. Mm -hmm. You never know how it's going to turn around, especially with team timeouts with the clock actually stopping. They've right. got official reviews up their hands. 35 trying to find his way around for, for the Wizards and he's out got the lead Ashby recycled back to behind the nerd skate shop line by the Wizards but finds his way through Ashby will be coming on his first scoring pass unless this is called he looks like he's going to wait until he's right at the back of the pack and then oh no oh it looks like 35 is interested in just running the clock so it's four points picked up for wales no call off he was looking at him and i was expecting that call off sorry 35 coming back through that's four points for australia this time he does call it off through the pack so that is a four eight jam i think Whoop. sorry i think 35 did look to his bench and they they did oh i see they didn't call it and then they did call it when he wasn't looking. So they said, oh, oh, look, they've already got the four. Go around again, get ourselves another four. Right. And then call it. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. 
Number 39 out for Australia. That is JS facing off against 36 Phillips. Now coming off the Nerd Skate Shop jammer line. Both jammers hitting those backs extra hard and Jones gets out in front to get the lead for Wales. Be interesting to see if Wales are gonna try and roll this one out as hard as they can or if they'll call it off fairly quickly. But Jones has got, uh, sorry, Phillips has got the f five points on the board for Team Wales while Australia has not made their way out of the pack yet and trying to get the star pass. JS reaching out, trying to pass the star uh, to his pivot. Wales getting in the middle of it. So JS deciding to hold on to it, taking himself around the outside, out for his initial pass. And Phillips being knocked down on the inside, so decides to call it off. It looks like we've got Phillips and JS having a little uh, little jammer party on the, on the floor there. And that is half time. So we're gonna have a couple of seconds of replay for you here. This last bit, Phillips coming through, knocking down, calling it, or trying, trying to call it from the floor. And that was the last few seconds of that jam. So we're gonna go into halftime, Australia 203, Wales at 63. We'll see you back here in about 14 and a half minutes. were great, my edges were great, like everything just felt so comfortable. Um, so I feel like they're really versatile. Um, the wheels had very little break-in. Um, with the plates, I love that they're low to the ground. I feel like I have a lot more control and precision with my edges. Hey, my name is Misty Maven. I am a jammer for the Gotham Girls All-Stars, and I have been a part of Roller Derby for Gotham for three years now. So from last season to this season, I updated my plates to roll line plates, and they have been so so responsive, it's been insane. Like the littlest movement, the plate responds with my foot. It's like I'm not even wearing skates. It's like I'm running on my sneakers. I have to buy new protective gear like every month just because I'm so hard on everything. But roll line, I don't have to worry about that. I've had my plates now since the beginning of the season and they're still going like they're brand new.
Nerd Roller Skates is your dedicated quad roller skate shop in Calgary, Alberta. Being a nerd is about being really excited and really passionate about a really specific thing. And the thing that we are really excited and passionate about is roller skates. Nerd Roller Skates. Official skate shop, Men's Roller Derby World Cup 2016. For people who roll. I am your fortress on the front line of sport. Engineered to be stronger than the attack. I defy convention by protecting more with less. Helping you breathe easier, hydrate faster, speak more clearly. I am Sisu. And I fend for you. World Cup 2016 live from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. My name is Pandora Pandemonium. I'm going to give you a quick update on the track situation from our teams before we head back to track two for the remainder of Team Australia versus Team One. So currently on track one, we've got Team USA playing Team Argentina. No surprises that USA are in the lead. 295 points on the board. Team Argentina managing to pick up 17. We are just two minutes into the second period of that game there. So and only time will tell to see if Argentina can get any more points on the board. But as it stands at the moment, they are putting up a really good fight against Team USA. Over on track number two, I am going to hand back to uh, Sleza and Psycho Jack. Claws on the floor, stars on the head, roll 
good to be locked with the zebra set. Yeah, we rollin', yeah, we rappin' for real. Can feel the back wheels underneath my heels. Thumb through my spine, penetrating the heart. Callin' up the jam till the next jam starts. My boat broke up. We really miss the feeling of spontaneously visiting a store and trying out the newest gear. Hang out for all roller skaters. Everyone has their own unique style. Because of our large assortment, we can now personalise roller skates while you wait, so you can try them out right away. Our mission is to fit you with the right gear, and don't forget to turn left. Hey, this is Dan from S1 Helmets. We're in the testing lab today, testing helmets to see if they pass the multiple impact certification test. We're going to be testing three helmets today. A soft foam helmet with EVA foam and a terry cloth liner. The hockey helmet with triple density EVA foam. The S1 Lifer helmet with EPS fusion foam. All three of these helmets are marketed as multiple impact helmets. We're gonna test all of them today and see which ones actually pass the test. The multiple impact test is when we drop a helmet to achieve a velocity of 4.57 meters per second. This simulates a 10 mile an hour impact or a four foot drop. The same helmet is tested three times in the same location. The helmet must reduce the energy pulse to under 300 Gs each time. Anything over 300 Gs can result in a traumatic brain injury or a severe concussion. In summary, the soft foam helmet with EVA foam and the hockey helmet with triple density foam did not pass the multiple impact test. The S1 Lifer helmet with EPS fusion foam did pass the multiple impact test. All right, we are back. Thank you for joining us on Sisu Track 2. I am Julia Sleezer. And I am Psycho Daiko, and we are very glad you could join us here for Team Wales versus Team Australia. The Wizards currently on 203 points, Wales on 63. So coming in um, is something we've seen a lot of in this first half. Uh, Australia controlling primarily the back of the pack, which has been a really good strategy for them. Uh, a lot of the times we see them stop at a turn with uh, a three wall in the back, either containing a goat or ready to capture a goat. 
Um, and that's been a really good tactic for them so far. They often have the free wall with a floating blocker ready to bust up any Wales blockers that come back to try to upset this. And that's been an excellent tactic for Australia. As you pointed out, they are 203 to Wales 63. I'm interested to see how Wales has uh, discussed and will adapt for the second half. We've just got about 30 seconds to go in. I do apologize for any difficulties that you all have had for the feed. I know there was a couple of times um, that you will be able to see action on the archive that you were not able to see live, and we do apologize for that. The size of this event is pretty extraordinary, and there's bound to be a few hiccups. And once again, we see the uh, fantastic sportsmanship we've been seeing all weekend. Sausage Rolls and Phillips, they're the two jammers on the Nerdscape Shop jammer line, just having a little handshake before they start this one off. And both packs starting with the blocker in the bin. Australia is going to get lead jammer status quickly. So as Arch comes around, is already about to score. The pack is all about stopped. And it's going to be Wales trying to take the defense in the back this time, knocking them out to the outside. Phillips comes in on his first scoring pass. Sausage so rolls, waits for him to pass his own blockers. Did not managed to get past any of the opposing blockers. So that was a two point jam for Australia, a zero point jam for Wales. So such Rolls was just standing still poised. Waiting. waiting yep. to slam on to call off that jam. Dirty Five taking the Nerd Skate Shop jammer line for Australia. I believe that is Jones for Wales. These two have gone head to head quite a number of times. Let's see how Wales have changed their tactics. We saw towards the, sec to the, towards the end of the first half there, uh, Wales had really tightened up their defense. They were holding on to the Australian jammers a lot longer. And then we see Jones out in front getting the lead for Wales. And Dirty Five only just now making his way out. And Jones going for the huge apex jump on the inside. Not quite nailing it, so he pulls it off. Double donuts, zero points apiece out of that jam. Roller Derby Elite, the brand that defines the sport. One of our fantastic sponsors here this weekend. Support those who support us because without those guys, something of this magnitude would not even be possible. Sausage Rolls once again putting on the star for Team Australia. Ashby putting on the star for Wales and Sausage Rolls assisting his blockers as they only have a two on the pack on the track for the Wizards. Ashby around to get the lead for Wales. Sausage rolls now with his own fancy footwork to get his way out of the pack. Very fast pack now for these jammers to catch up to. I believe that's the Wizards trying to speed it up. And definitely speeding up this pack. It's just zinging along. Ashby comes into the pack so fast. Three points on the board for Wales that time. Nothing picked up by Australia. Sausage Rolls was going as fast as those wheels could carry him to try and catch up to that pack to get at least one piece of the low-hanging fruit, but <laughs> none on the board for Australia as Dirty Five hits our Nerd Skate Shop line once again for the Wizards head-to-head -head against I believe that's Phillips it is. wearing the Star for Wales. Mm -hmm. Again, if you're just tuning in, Wales is in red, Australia in the gold and green. Dirty five getting knocked out to the outside. He's going to have to come back, same as for Phillips. Pack about at a standstill, very thick. People blocking each other just a few inches between them, so it's not really moving along that much, not really knocking anybody outside. They can't quite get that momentum. It's talking about momentum. That is Clutterbuck taking one last swipe as Australia takes lead jammer status. Dirty five clinging on by the toe stops to that in, to that outside line. As Wales, I believe, has stashed the star to try and find his way through the pack. And Ballistic has been called for the high block. Son of Skate now called for a directional play. And looks like Synaptic Kid is also heading to the penalty box. So we have one blocker out on track. That's just incredible trying to hold it for the Wizards. So he is getting some instruction to go back onto the track. So it's 505 is going to be in queue. 
for the penalty box. Phillips taken off the star, puts it back on. He is now through for his, or coming in, I should say, on his first scoring pass. Dirty five still zing his way through that pack. It's sped up yet again, but he has got five points out of it. I think Dirty Five is getting the call from his bench to keep going to get all of the blockers back on track, or as many as they can, as they, I believe they still have one blocker in queue. So just trying to draw the time out. The star for Wales has been passed to 8055 Burrows. He has it in hand, has been knocked out to the outside. Australia is hit to this whole plan. They've got their three wall in back. He doesn't even get it placed on his head. Uh, and it looks as though oh. he was called for the back block there just oh, before oh, the oh. jam ended. So okay. Burrows is going to be starting off in the penalty box as the jammer for Wales. That means we will have, it looks like, Sausage Rolls putting on the start for Team Australia on a Power Derby Athletics power start. Now, I believe it was Sausage Rolls in the first half got himself a 44-point jam. Yes. So let's see what he can do this time around. Remember, if you want to talk to us, hashtag MRDWC on the Twitter for shout-outs. Sausage Rolls takes lead jammer status. Of course, this is the base case scenario you can hope for as a jammer. You got lead and you are on a power jam. But what makes it better is a Roller Derby Athletics power jam. Everything's better with Roller Derby Athletics. Coming in, he's finding his way easily through the pack. Last person he has to pass is number 26, Swift, and he is through. And Burrows is now back on track. He's just going out of the penalty box. He does still have to make his initial pass, so I believe Sausage Rolls will draw this one out to get as many points as he can before he has to call it off once Burrows starts his scoring pass. Burrows busting his way through the front of that pack. It does appear he's going to be getting a forearm call. This is another Roller Derby Athletics power jam. We had that power start. Now we've got the proper power jam. In favor of Team Australia, who just picked up another five points. And looks like Team Wells have Swift heading to the penalty box as well. So we have three blockers left on track. Four Wales, four of the Wizards on track. Trying to capture Jones for a goat. He will not be had. And another big five points on the board for Sausage Rolls. Sausage swooping around his own skaters, coming up against these only two Wales defensive men. Jones and being sent off is Jenkins. I didn't see the penalty for that one, but he's going to have to... Oh, did he get waved back on? He did. He oh, was, okay. He was sent and then waved back on. Okay. I believe he may be in queue. Oh! Waiting for his turn to head back into the penalty box. Well, I'm, I'm at a little bit of an odd angle. It's hard to see the full penalty box from here. This is the end of the jam being called off. A 35-point jam for Australia, bringing them up to 255. Wales still sitting at 66. Nothing scored on that jam. We've got about 22 and a half minutes left in this game. It's a pretty substantial score differential at this point. We have JS hitting our Nerd Skate Shop jammer line and going head to head against Ashby. And JS trying to power his way through on the inside gets stopped by Ashton. He is back in and Ashby also thrown to the inside by Mr. Spew. So lead again for Australia as he swoops in. Coming at that pack with some speed. Pack is about at a standstill again. We've got defense up front for Australia, defense out back for Wales. Number 19, Ashby for Wales. Their jammer is through and is going to be coming in on his first scoring pass. The pack is still at turn two. It is called off. Nothing picked up that time for Wales. Two more points on the board for Australia. Even with this lead, Australia is still playing that very tight tactical derby, calling it off before Wales got any points on the board. 
the power of Grayskull, bespoke handmade sportswear, proud sponsor of Team Wales Roller Derby. Every item is designed and made in our studio in the UK. Want pets on your legs? We can totally do that. The power of Grayskull, making your legs happy. That sounds awesome. I want my, my puppy and my cat on my legs. <laughs> and Jones leaping his way through to get the lead for Wales. Skate Pilgrim with the star for the Wizards. He currently has it stashed in his hand. Oh, and Jones, Jones just yeah. charging his way through the inside. You shall not pass? I don't think so. I'm coming through. Skate Pilgrim now out of the pack going to put the star. I believe he's going to put the star on his head once again. Well, his pivot is just coming out of the box and he's just a few feet behind him. There was the potential. He did put it on his helmet just as he came out. That is a four-point jam for Wales. Nothing picked up that time by Australia. That brings Wales up to 75, Australia at 256. About 20 minutes left in this game. Phillips for Wales taking the Nerdscape Shop jammer line. That is dirty five for Australia. We've got, got some more people chatting to us on the feed, uh, including the Men's Roller Derby World Cup. Make sure you're voting for your hashtag MRDWC, hashtag fan favorite. You can do that through Quad Skate Shop. Jump onto their Facebook page. You can pick your fan favorite for the team of the tournament. It's always nice to have some fan involvement in these awards. Something else nice is getting Lee Jammer status, which Australia has just gotten. That is Dirty Five out there. Through on his initial is number 36, Phillips for Wales. Phillips approaching the back of the pack, but I believe it is, yeah, it's called off. That is four more points on the board for Australia. Didn't have quite a chance to get in there to get any points for Wales. Make sure you support those who support us. Like Brown Paper Tickets, Brown Paper Tickets has been supporting Roller Derby for over a decade. We love the sport and are working to help gear up the Women's League in Lebanon. You can make a difference by, for Roller Derby Bay Roots by visiting our donation page at Got Game Need Gear at brownpapertickets.com. Out on the line, Sausage rolls facing off against Ashby. Ashby up front, but is going to get a forearm called on him. So this is a roller derby athletics power jam as Ashby enters the box. That gives Skate Pilgrim the opportunity to get lead jammer status. Sausage rolls is out in front for Team Australia. He will be looking to get as many points on the board. Really extend that lead out. Uh, this nice work there from Sausage rolls. He got down super low and pirouetted his way through. Australia setting up the three-pack at the back. And Sosar throws once his way through for another big five points. It looks like we do have Ashby standing in the bin. He will still be on his initial pass, though, so Sosar throws going to draw it out for as many points as possible before calling off this Roller Derby Athletics power jam is now over. And Ashby Back on track and through the pack. Sausage rolls. Going through, looking to his bench and getting the call to call off the jam. It looks like that was a 19-point jam there for Sausage rolls. I have been given word that Burroughs fouled out, so that is number 8500 from Wales. Of course, if you've been watching, I keep calling it the weekend, if you were watching at the end of the week, uh, we are back to normal gameplay. Seven, seven penalties is our foul out now. Hour-long games. Clock stops at uh, appropriate times when we had been doing the 30-minute pretty much seed bounce where the clock went, went on. Didn't matter what was happening. It was going to go on because we were only going to use 30 seconds or 30 minutes. Unless the power goes out, we will stop it for that. That was the only stop. For the record, <laughs> <laughs> clock stopped on that. So we've got Skate Pilgrim at the front of the pack for Team Oz. And Jones skating at the back with the star on for Wales. Skate Pilgrim being thrown around by the Wales blockers. Finds his way back on track. He's just double checking. He thought he had a call from the referees. Skate is pressing against these defenses. None of his uh, skaters able to come up front and help him out. So he's on his own, but he does have lead jammer status. Now the Australian blockers are engaging with Wales since Jones is also through the pack. 
Both Germans are coming in their first scoring passes about a quarter lap away from each other. The Wizards there just holding on to the two Wales blockers, making sure their jammer got every single one of those four points before he called it off. I definitely saw Skate turn around, locate Jones, and then make the decision on what he was going to do next. So we have a pretty big point differential at this, at this time. Australia 283, Wales 75, about 1537 left in this game. If you want to talk to us, that would be great. We can get your shout outs and tweets and what have you at hashtag MRDWC. Not at, but hashtag. Hashtag. Number 39, JS on the line, on the nerd skate shop camera line. He is facing off. Ooh. Phillips from Wales thrown to the outside and being recycled back by the Wizards as Team Oz have got themselves the lead. Phillips pushing hard to try and find his way through. Made it past the last blocker. Another one appeared out of nowhere as if by magic because they <laughs> are Wizards. But he has now made his way out of the pack. He's going to get that called off. Four more points on the board for Australia. Nothing picked up that time by Wales. Dirty five back on the nurse gate shop jammer line for Team Australia going head to head against Ashby once again for Team Wales. We have one of the blockers from Team Wales in the box. Otherwise, we are clear. So pack advantage right now to the Wizards of Oz. And Dirty Five and Ashby a little bit of posturing there on the line. Dirty Five didn't like uh, Ashby leaning on him too closely. Sorry, there's two in the box. One had his feet out, one had his feet in, and, and if you stand ever so slightly to the left, I can only see the feet. So my bad. Is this going to turn into a roller derby athletics power jam? A cut has been called on Wales Jammer. A cut was actually called just before that on the Australian Jammer, so we have ourselves a Jammer tag. Jammer in, Jammer out, and then it will be a foot race to try and get back to the pack. Dirty Five had only just sat down on the seat, so it won't be very long before Ashby, and then we see him released from the penalty box. So very fast Jammer penalties there. Dirty Five sliding into the inside, coming back through, punching his way through Wales defenses. He is through on his initial, coming in on his first scoring pass. In the meantime, Ashby is trying to make his way through. I believe he'll still be on his initial. The good thing now, I don't like seeing jammers getting penalties. I don't like penalties going around too much at all. But the good thing about two jammers getting penalties is we have no lead. We have the full two minutes. Right. We get all of the derby action. Get your full money's worth. All of the derby right now. So Ashby is coming in, 35 is already in the pack. He's been pushed back to the back, but it means Ashby picks up the first four points of this jam, a minute 30-ish in. So it's a brutal game out there. Defense has really tightened up on both sides. The Wizards were already playing a tight game. They've tightened it up just a little bit more, and Wales are really holding strong as a five points on the board there for 35. <laughs> And it looks as though Ashby for Wales. My apologies, I thought there was a penalty call there, but he's good. Yes. He's got himself the four points. It was a little bit hard to tell, and then that was the natural conclusion of that jam. Seven points picked up by Australia, eight points by Wales right now. 294-83 in favor of the Wizards. 12 minutes left in this game. I'm not necessarily sure we're going to see a lead change but this has been such great action from both of these teams. It's been a pleasure to watch it. It's been a, been a pleasure to be involved with it. And we're seeing a lot of uh, like the first half tactics versus the second half tactics. We're seeing a lot of change up in just this one game. And that's always really exciting, at least for me. Yeah, it's great to see the teams actually really did take that 15 minutes that they have at halftime now to really assess the situation critically and change their tactics with, as you can see right there, Wales really tightening up that wall and holding Skate Pilgrim. Wow. He's having to push super hard to find his way out, and that leaves Jones out in front as the lead for Wales. Fantastic that work there from Wales. Definitely. That was that was an excellent, excellent, excellent wall. Skate Pilgrim is through. Jones comes through the pass, pack on his first scoring pass, picks up four points, calls it off before Australia can even reach the bat. 
definitely giving their jammers the opportunity to get the lead more often here in the second half with that tightening up of the, the pack for Wales. Once those blockers, they're really interlocking as soon as they get closer right. to each other. Legally, of course, nothing, uh, no, no multiplayers, but they're doing fantastically to keep it nice and tight. Phillips <laughs> facing off against Der oh, sorry, no. Sausage sorry. Rolls. Sausage Rolls trying to get himself a little yeah. uh, jammer cut, actually, I think, at the back. Yeah. Maybe he was going for to try and eat the baby. But instead, Wales have got out front and got themselves a lead. So not working to his advantage there that time for Sausage Rolls. Definitely. It's just, it was so surprising to see that here's the jammer holding back the jammer for just a second. My brain malfunctioned. But I'm back. <laughs> So is Phillips, who's picked up five big points for Wales. Oh, my. Looks like we are going to be called for uh, an injury. Oh, it looks like Skate Pilgrim is down. Well, Sausage Rolls is down, and oh. he appears to be holding. Man, I'm going, to get very his, similar. I'm going to get his name at some point in this jam. Well, oh, the jam's finished. Next time. So we, yeah, you can see a replay of this huge hit. You see Sausage go down, and it looks like it's not like he got kicked. It looks like it may be, you know, a muscle twinge or something. We're hoping for, like, you know, of course, like, least damage, least collateral lost. Um, Fingers crossed for a cramp. Right. That's that's what he he goes down and then he grabs his leg. And so I'm really hoping it was just like a twinge. And um, he's he, up on his skates. It's good yeah. to see Sausage Roll is up. And he will be assessed at the side by the EMTs. So I, uh, even if that wasn't called for injury, of course, I, probably know at home if he's seen by the ENTs period he's going to have to sit out that three so we've got a little bit of cleanup on the track to get done and then uh, this next game will be underway so we've got 10 minutes left in this game Australia at 2d 294 Wales at 92 right now we've got Swift in the box for Wales he does have two penalties and uh, We've got another blocker alongside him, but it was Swift that got two penalties. There's also two Australian blockers in the box. So this is half pack for both teams. It is going to be Australia out front. Lead jammer status goes to Skate Pilgrim, who then decides to play offensively. So this is something new from Australia. The last two jammers have been playing uh, offense. Interesting. Just helping their blockers out while they've got others sitting in the penalty box. Sure. Ashby has now found his way out. He got the four points for skates. He's getting the call from Chewy Lyon to just keep on skating. I think trying to run the timeout to get all of their blockers out. And they're free from the penalty box, so they call off the jam. Four to zip out of that one. Australia keeping Wales from getting any points on the board. Remember to have a chat to us on the Twitter feed, hashtag MRDWC. Put it up there and we'll give you a shout out. And we've got ourselves a uh, pivot line start, a nerd skate shop pivot line start as JS comes flying off the jammer line for Team Oz. And Jones is pushing his way against the Wizards at the front. And Jones went down hard, but it looks like Team Australia has been called for the forearm penalty. So we've got a Wales blocker and an Oz blocker heading to the penalty box. That's Flaming Galar for the Wizards. Wales defense is they are they've got the three-man wall and they're waterfalling their players out and in and out and in and it's been an effective tactic to uh, keep back Australia's jammer lead jammer status it does go to Team Wales. Ballistic the pivot for the Wizards was just tapping I think he may have been calling for the star both jammers now being knocked to the outside and being forced to recycle a long way back around the track nearly half the track before they can re-enter. And now JS has found his way through, but he is not the lead. That lead is with Jones, who's picked up four points before calling it off, not allowing Australia to get through on that first scoring pass or really get near the pack so much. That brings us 298 to 96, still in favor of Australia, about seven and a half minutes left in this game. 
As we've mentioned earlier, Wales have really stepped it up on the defensive. Their blockers absolutely doing a fantastic job of holding back the Team Australia jammers. It's taking them at least two turns before they get a chance to get out of the pack. And it looks like we've got an official timeout. The referee's just having a little conversation. This official timeout brought to you by Quad Skate Shop. The Men's Roller Derby World Cup would like to acknowledge the contributions of Alberta Sports Connection, which helped make this event possible. Thank you very much to the Alberta Sports Connection because I'm having a great time at this event. I'm so glad to be here. It was a little bit of a long way to come. Yeah. Just, just, a, just a smidge. I flew an hour and a half. <laughs> an hour and a half. An hour and it was, it was the most treacherous hour and a half I've ever had on a plane. I didn't even fall asleep. It was rough. So what were you saying about your... your... Yeah, yeah, no, and your hour and a half sounds terrible. Yeah, like... but when you fly in, you time travel backwards. So uh, at least, like, you leave on a Wednesday and you show up, like, on a Wednesday the same hour that you left. I'm just like, oh, I was on a plane for an hour and a half. So it's exciting. Yeah, we left on Saturday morning. We arrived on Saturday morning. That's so cool. Yeah. So just I, I just lost 14 hours of my life to do that. But that's cool. <laughs> I thought you said it was 19. No, no. Oh, that's fine. Brisbane straight to Vancouver. Oh, okay. At least you had a straight shot. We have swoopy whistle, which means we are about to get back underway. Here's a little bit of replay from the last jam that was on, so you can see kind of the rough and tumble stuff we've got. Ashby taking the Nerd Skate Shop jammer line for Wales. Facing off against Dirty Five from Australia. Ooh. And Dirty Five, he got down low and did he fly? <laughs> Nicely done. Yeah. Coming right through that pack, couldn't even see. He went in, came right out. And he again. found it, yeah. Finding that open lane on the inside is lucky. And now we have Wales finding their way out of the pack. Ashby getting free. Dirty five coming into the inside, calling it off as Ashby comes to the back of the pack. It's a zero point jam for Wales, but a six point jam for Australia. So now we are at 3.04 to Wales 96. About six and a half minutes left in this game. It's been so incredibly exciting. It's been an absolutely great game to watch. The scoreline really does not underline the level of derby that we've seen in this game. It has been fantastic to watch both teams putting on an epic show for us. Definitely. No, this is <laughs> this has been so exciting. I was I was getting really ramped up waiting for this to come on this morning, and I have not been disappointed. Right now, Skate Pilgrim taking lead jammer status for Australia. Hot on his heels is Jones. It looks like we've got a bit of chaos. This is the most uh, disintegrated I've seen the pack so far, but they're trying to recuperate. Skate Pilgrim blasts through for the three quick points, pulling it off just as Ashby was hot on his heels. Australia starting off with the 2-4 pack disadvantage. Wales got their four blockers, so we'll see how tightly they can hold Skate Pilgrim as he goes head to head against Ashby for Wales. Immediately off the line, Skate Pilgrim blocking into Ashby. Ashby coming up towards the pack, out to the outside. It looks like to be that he's getting called for a track cut. He must have just slipped one wheel or one foot back in because he didn't get all the way back onto the track. But you know it only takes that one wheel. It you only know takes it does. It. Yep. They try and hold on as hard as they can, but one wheel is all that's going to give you away. And Skate Pilgrim went for a nice slide around the outside, and he's back up in on track. So he has himself a Roller Derby Athletics power jam. Yet to find his way through for his initial pass to get the lead. And there he's out and has the lead for the Wizards. Now we have full packs back on track, four blockers apiece. Australia setting up to either side and now coming in to try and assist the jammer through. Skate Pilgrim standing up looking to his blockers for the assist. They've come in to lend him a hand and 
he's made his way around for his first five point pass in this Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam. I kind of, I kind of, uh, well, I'm using my eyeballs. I'm looking at Ashby. He's standing off to the side of the penalty box, which would usually indicate to me that he's fouled out. He's got a hold of his helmet cover for a second, but he's standing there. 30 seconds is surely elapsed, right? So I think that this power jam has no opposing jammer right now because he would have to be replacing the block by someone of, from his bench. So I believe that's what's happened. That's why he's on the track. It's very, does that seem reasonable to you? It does seem reasonable okay. to you. He's well and truly past the 30 seconds now. We sure. should have two jammers. So Skate Pilgrim looks like he's going to be rolling this one. Yeah, getting all the oh, fun. fun. <laughs> yeah. So I guess when I said before, best case scenario is that you were on a roller derby athletics power jam and you had the lead. I guess there's a better case scenario and it's that, that the opposing jammer fouls out and has to stand in the box waiting for someone to replace him. Okay, there's going to be an official review. Uh, so. So we will hear shortly from our head referees. Once they've found out what it is Wales would like to officially review, uh, you will hear directly from them as to what it is they are looking at. Thanks so yes, official well, review to Wales. Remember, you can have a chat to us on the Twitter feed at uh, hashtag MRDWC. That is uh, hashtag MRDWC. No, at a symbol. Thank you very much. Three hundred and twenty points, but a good one. Like, right, but uh, yes, yeah, Sausage Roll so did grab his hamstring, but he does appear to be back up and okay. Uh, so fingers crossed it was so nothing far. too serious. And just as Timo Argentina put in there, three times the amount of points on the board again. So it looks like we are going to hear now from the head referee and the official review. Next on track one, we are going to be seeing Japan on track two. After that, we will be seeing uh, Team Chile versus Team Spain. Over on track one this afternoon, mountain time here in Calgary, um, Scotland versus Belgium at three o'clock. At 3.15, over on track two will be Sweden versus Mexico. You're not gonna wanna miss any of these games. They're gonna be really well matched. They're gonna be incredibly close. Um, we're gonna So it appears there's a little bit of delay getting towards the head ref. Essentially, someone holds up a mic in the middle and we throw to the house. We saw the mic go up and then it's not being thrown to them. So I will chat with you for a little bit so you don't get lonely. As we mentioned before, Quad Skate Shop is allowing you to choose one of the MVPs. You can check that out at Quad Skate Shop's website. So this year's Quad Skate Shop team of the tournament includes a fan favorite award. So make sure you check out the Facebook page during today's play and vote for your favorite. And if it was too far for you to come to Calgary, why not host the 2018 Men's Roller Derby World Cup? Details are in your programs and on the website. So make sure you go and check out the website if you're interested in hosting it. Now, I don't think you can really do it in your backyard. We're looking more for countries to <laughs> host it, I think. I know Stay Puft, one of our fellow announcers, was keen to have it in his backyard, realized it probably wasn't quite big enough. James Brown said he was going to host it in his apartment. Wales was requesting a back block call on yellow number zero after the apex jump. After review, no ref saw contact to the back, only contact to the side perpendicular to the skater. No call will stand. So there you have it. Sorry, I was a little bit delayed. There's no way to coordinate with the refs. We're super far away from them. So the no call stands. We are about to get back underway. We've got about 30 seconds-ish. Now it's five seconds. Time traveling with me. 
And we've got just over the three minute mark left to go here in the second half of this fantastic game here on CSU Track 2. JS, the jammer for Australia. Jones rolling out for Team Wales. Both jammers having a hard time trying to find their way through. JS has now stretched his way out to turn two while we have Jones having to re-enter almost back at the Nerd Skate Shop jammer line. Yeah, this is a fairly split pack held together by some bridge work by Wales. What bridge work is that? That was amazing. Taken up about a quarter of the track just with four men, but held back number 39 from Australia, that is JS, as long as they possibly could. Jones is coming in the back of the pack again. He slides through on the outside, but doesn't quite get past all of the Australian blockers. JS trying to find his way through now for his first scoring pass as Jones is still trying to make his way through on his initial pass. Look at that. Wales just defense at 200% in the second half. It's just been a pleasure to watch them change their tactics and, and adapt to this over just such a short amount of time. It's really takes a lot of brain work, a lot of teamwork, and a lot of physicality to do such a thing. That was a zero-point jam for Wales, a four-point jam for Australia, bringing Australia up to 3.30. Wales still sitting at 96. We've got a minute 38 left in this half. And then... Oh, sorry, game. Left in the game, yeah. Second half of this entire game. The full 30-minute halves here now into the quarter quarterfinals. Sausage rolls on the, the Nerd Skate Shop jammer line for Australia, giving a little hug there to Philip from <laughs> Wales. It's nice to see the camaraderie, the friendship, and the sportsmanship here. Lead jammer status is going to go to Australia. Sausage rolls zinging along the track, coming in for his first scoring pass. Philip's still stuck in the pack. As you can see, there's that Australian contingency up front holding him back quite effectively. Sausage rolls working his way through. He thought he found a gap on the inside, having to step back on track and has now found his way around for his first five points in this jam. Phillips still trying to find his way through for his initial pass. Australia once again lining up that trio at the back, holding super strong. And it looks like Phillips has a star stash. He has the yes. star in his hands as he's having to re-enter back in behind Synaptic Kid. Sausage Rolls now finding himself held up quite well by Wales at the front. Once again, trying to bridge it out as far as they can, but he's found his way out of the pack for another five points for Australia. We have Australia bracing in the back, waiting for the re-entry of the uh, infamous Sausage Rolls. Trying to get it broken up is number 36 Phillips, of course, the jammer, who is also still has that star in hand. Keeps getting knocked out to the outside. He's been quite far from his pivot for a while. So it doesn't appear, well, I guess he went right by him. I guess he didn't, he potentially was just meant to be a star stash, and it was. So he's got Jammer Star back on his helmet. He's gonna be coming in for another, or for his first scoring pass, I should say. Just before that though, Sassarj is going to call it off. Four more points on the board, bringing up a 29 point jam, this final jam for Australia. Zero points picked up by Wales. The unofficial final, 359 to 96. Both teams just playing to full capacity. An amazing thing to watch. Both of these teams putting their hearts out there, leaving nothing in the tank, pushing as hard as they can. Fantastic work. The scoreline really does not underline the derby, the level that, that we've seen out there. That was just amazing. And Wales stepped it up so much from, you know, halfway through the, the first half, all the way through, holding the Australian jammers back for at least two turns, nearly every time around the track. Fantastic work. It's been an absolute pleasure to call this game. And that looks like it is the official final score. 96 points to Wales, 359 to Team Australia. So thank you so much for joining us. I hope you have been uh, enjoying your weekend and tuning in on both of these tracks. This has been Julia Sleezer and Psycho Daiko for Sisu Track 2.
Steam. My name's Panda. We're joined by Bob. And of course, we're joined by Magnum and B Sang from Team USA, who've just come off track on track one. Guys, how was the game for you? Really fun. That, that was a lot of fun beginning to end. Those guys competed hard, and uh, it was a great derby. Well, obviously, you guys took the win, and it was huge. <laughs> but Team Argentina put the most amount of points on the board against Team USA so far by three times. How do you feel? Uh, they fought hard all the way, all the way for the whistles. Uh, continued to block. We're strong. Never gave up. A lot of heart. Absolutely. So uh, moving forward, Australia have just won on track two against Team Wales. So uh, the game uh, at, five, at seven o'clock, sorry, is going to be USA versus Team Australia. How do you feel going into that? We're really excited. They're, they're a really dynamic, fun team to watch, and uh, they got some very talented skaters. And so I think it's going to be a great battle beginning to end, and uh, they're going to test us. And we're going to test them, and it's just going to be really fun. I think there's going to be some jaw-dropping moments from both teams. It's going to be fun to watch. Yeah. yeah I, the question I have for you guys, this is what's really interesting to me. Having had the opportunity as a Panda to see the 2014 team in Birmingham and then to come here, uh, I mean, we all understand geographically getting you guys together to practice is not an option. You know, that you guys practice, I'm guessing, probably regionally and then show up and practice here as a team. But you play with more discipline and control as a national team than probably any one team in all of the MRDA does. Uh, I, when you watch it, I, I can I know you can only say so much, but I'm assuming that you guys are kind of it's kind of like this is your role. Stick to it because the discipline just really always seems to be there. Well, that comes back to our coaches keeping us level-headed, keeping us focused. And oh, Steph sure would not, never say anything. Making sure we're not going too crazy out there on the floor and making sure that, you know, it's, it's a team game, not individuals. So. Yeah. And that's one thing we do uh, work on throughout the week because everybody plays by a slightly different, uh, like, fundamental game plan. Yeah, that's, and so absolutely. And so getting us all on the same page has been what we've been working on. And actually, some of the jams today we continued further than maybe we would have okay. um, otherwise just to feel out different situations. Um, and so it, it's it's an ongoing process. Yeah. And I feel like as the week's gone on, we've gotten stronger and more, yeah. more cohesive. So that's a good thing. No, but uh, to me, it's just fascinating. Thank you. This is like a game of tennis. So you're going to come back over here now. Um, what's your favorite game so far? I really like the Japan game. Those guys are just really cool guys, and uh, they have a lot of respect for the game, and uh, they're just extremely happy to be here. And I, you know, I just love roller derby. And when you see a team that's like just as excited to be playing and being here, uh, and the heart that they have, I just I really enjoyed being on the track with them. And a huge improvement from them yeah, since 2014. Yeah. Oh, and they they tested us hard. Their offense, especially right off the beginning, they were coming so hard at us on the offensive front. It was uh, it was fun. Okay, your favorite game. It's, it's the crowd favorite, it's still Japan. I mean, it's just, it, they've been fun. They're great on and off the track. And Argentina was fun. All our full teams were fun. Uh, I mean, you can take away a jam from each single game that we've all kind of enjoyed. So it's all been fun, but definitely that Japan game was uh, a great experience. One observation I did have that made me smile a little bit is having traveled with the shock exchange down to Argentina and knowing that Jonathan knows all those guys, they played him in particular. Yes very tough they were really on him yeah, and yeah. it was almost like you know it was almost like there's our mentor let's go show him what we can do there's, there's a lot to see in somebody more than once and knowing their, their tendencies and yeah. so the first time you play somebody yeah. it's a lot of just like on the spot reaction but then the more you see somebody yeah. the more you can game plan around them yeah so uh, i got a kick out of that do they pull them off off the ground and they're all hugging and stuff yeah, yeah. Games that you're looking forward to going going into the next couple days? This Australian game is going to be a battle. It's going to be fun. And again, they have the capability to do some pretty amazing things on their skates. Mm -hmm. And so I'm excited to see what they can pull. Australia, one game at a time. They've been the top of the tournament. Uh, big improvement from 2014. So look forward yeah, to them. Yeah, the great statement. That's exactly the way we've seen it, too. So if you progress to the final, who do you think you're going to see there from uh, England and Canada? That's tough. I, I would think uh, England, but I, I don't know for sure. Just because they have more guys, I feel like that from the MRDA front, it's it's more top-seeded players. But again, you never know, but I, I feel like England. And you're also kind of wondering how much France took out of Canada this morning because that was a great game. So it I was. Guess.
So it's going to be potentially a 2014 rematch <laughs> for the trophy. If, if we're lucky. If we're yeah, lucky. If, we're, if everything goes right. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Bob. Do you have anything else to add? No, other than the fact that it's always a pleasure to see you guys. Yeah, thanks. Pleasure. Thank and Magnum, do you want to say anything to the fans back home before we go? I just want to thank all the St. Louis support uh, on Facebook and just all the uh, support the St. Louis group has been sending the, the guys here. We really appreciate it. Shout out to all my San Diego uh, family, uh, my wife Christina, my son Adam, my dad, and, and all the aftershocks at home. Thank you. <laughs> Don't forget, you can get in touch with us using the hashtag MRDWC on Twitter to send any messages in. Thank you to you guys. For yeah, thanks, us. guys. Appreciate it. Skates is your dedicated quad roller skate shop in Calgary, Alberta. Being a nerd is about being really excited and really passionate about a really specific thing. And the thing that we are really excited and passionate about is roller skates. Nerd Roller Skates. Official skate shop, Men's Roller Derby World Cup 2016. For people who roll. I am your fortress on the front line of sport. Engineered to be stronger than the attack. I defy convention by protecting more with less. Helping you breathe easier, hydrate faster, speak more clearly. I am CC. And I fend for you. We've just seen a huge game from Team USA on track one. Well, amusingly, my favorite statistic for this game, USA has given up 15 points total in the third stage. Argentina scored triple that amount. Yeah. One Argentina jammer is responsible individually for more points than any other single team. And it's not El Pibe. He's got more still. Wow. Not even the highest scoring team.
I don't know how far into the warm ups they are. We really miss the feeling of spontaneously visiting a store and trying out the newest gear. Hang out for all roller skaters. Everyone has their own unique style. Because of our large assortment, we can now personalise roller skates while you wait, so you can try them out right away. Our mission is to fit you with the right gear, and don't forget to turn left. A lot of very impressive people in roller derby. This was definitely a proud moment for me, wearing the black, white, and red. I care about this thing more than I care about any other article of clothing in my wardrobe. This represents to me like seven years of like, you know, blood, sweat, and tears. Glitter is fun and hardcore. I've learned that it's hardcore. <laughs> my uniform is always in pristine condition. My truck is purple. My shoes are purple. <laughs> my underwear are purple. <laughs> It takes a lot of drive and a lot of passion to keep going in roller derby. Sometimes you, when you play roller derby, you're just kind of like, why am I doing this? This is so weird. I just can't imagine that I'd get more kicks like playing golf than I do hitting a b you know? Feels good. <laughs> My name is Rachel Rotten. My name is Midge Wilhelm. I'm Fifi Nominon. I'm Jackie Daniels. My name's Steph Maney. Hi, I'm Scald Eagle. And S1. 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 And S1 is part of my uniform. Penetrating the heart, calling up the jam till the next jam starts. <laughs> 